this is, this is this baby sport, right? He's gonna ask you a question. When you think of Beach 11 and sport, what come to your mind? Like memory. Oh, when I come to Beach 11, when I come to my brother's sport, man, I think about pool. We used to play pool together. You know what I'm saying? Laugh, chop it up back there. You know what I'm saying? At the PBC, we had great times together. You know what I'm saying? I love my brother. I'm gonna miss my brother. But you know what's so good? When I look at my brother, kids, is what's real, and he's still living, walking on this earth. You know what I'm saying? What I want to say, rest in peace to my brother Baron, aka Sport the Sparrow. Love you, baby, forever. Um, him, he just had all the girls. What could I do? Holla! My you supposed to you supposed to bring the camera over no, here so I can say Holla! <laughs> That's what he said. Right, right, right. And when he seen definitely. you, and when he seen you, what he said? Excuse me, let, let me holler at you for a minute. Let me holler at you for a minute. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Hold on, but this what I remember. That's what he did. He had a crazy knuckle game, son. Mm. Oh my God, son. Yo, I don't care what circumstance. Wait, what he said? What? Bam! Boom, boom, boom. Kill sport. No, it wasn't that simple. No, beep, beep, beep. Sport, sport. That's what I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. What you remember about sports? Let me holler at you for a minute. Let me holler at you. <laughs> what you remember about sports? That's all you would say. I can't. It's too much to say, man. Give us one story. That's the one story. Yeah. I'm the reason why he be getting them bras like exactly. that. Exactly. When you see him, you see me. No doubt. No doubt. You know, exactly. You know, when I put all these cats up on Mike Tyson before he started knocking these old dudes out. Exactly. You know? That was my road dog. Exactly. Like, you know, real, for real. We did a lot of things. Though, and exactly. Lot of exactly. Exactly. Your love, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. That's my role, bro. No doubt. Yo, what you remember about your uncle's sport, yo? yo? Rest in peace, my nigga SP, man. Real talk. I bet what he told the nigga like this. He was like, yo. He told the nigga, he said, yo. You know what I like about you? The nigga was like, what? He was like, nothing. Walk straight off on the nigga. Yo, that's. <laughs> Yo, yo, rest yo, in peace, yo, SP. That's the man. laugh, son. You niggas love yeah, you, man. Yeah, the I laugh, that laugh too. Still love, man. You still alive. You're going to remain in our heart, bro. You know what I'm saying? The, turn, the ten boot strangler. Nigga taught me, nigga. If it ain't leather on the boots, nigga don't wear them. You heard? If it ain't leather at the bottom of them, on the top of them Tim's, don't wear them, nigga. I keep the leather on the top of my Tim's. My mama taught me how to wear them. But I was going to wear them for you. But love, I'm going to get a fresh pair for you, baby. Rest in peace, SP. Always in my heart. Uh, uh, I remember I didn't know how to play ball. Exactly. My mom was like, teach him how to play ball, teach him how to play ball. So uh, I walked up to him. He came out the car. He was just like, listen, listen, nephew. If you want to play ball, you got to keep your head up at all times when you do it. So that's the first time I really started playing ball. That was like my first first lesson I learned playing ball. That's what I always remember. Uh, love. Love. Rest in peace, SP. Man, sport was a real dude, man. He took care of me, man. He was like a big brother to me. He made sure I was good, whether it was advice or some spread from my pocket. He made sure I was on deck. My SP story is I was about to get my ass whooped in the hood. We ain't gonna say no names, but sports said, Look, before you touch that man, you got to come through me. Got to knock in the nigga to fuck up all up against the gate. You know what I mean? And said, Fish, stop doing the bullshit. So he definitely was like a big brother to me, and he was a warrior. Rest in peace, sport, my nigga. Love you. Make sure everybody good, my G. Your family is legendary, my nigga. Y'all big part of this shit. We already know what it is. That's the peace, SP forever, my nigga. He's thinking. What you remember about your uncle's sport? He was very funny. Always keep you laughing. Always saying shit and shit. And we always had an argument. And I always said I was gonna go get my father. His favorite word was, I don't give a fucking shit. I don't give a fucking shit, G. But they said, do not let you came and sport in that fucking apartment over there. Hell no! They, they be robbing and fucking stealing and taking from niggas. They can't get it. That shit. That's mama dying. I don't know. Sport came with the ball rock, right? Walking out, he had a slick on the front. Starting with everybody coming out of far rock. Anyway, so he got on the um, he started with this one dude from the 40s. They wanted to fight and shit. So they wanted up all fighting in the bushes and the mud and everything. So we all walking back from Far Rock. So while we walking, you know how light skinned sport was and stuff. 
he had a scar on his face, but his whole face was dried up mud green. It's just so we were all fun, yo. It was mad funny. He was like, yo, Pigo, I got beat up. I'm like, nah, nah. Oh, when he came home. So many. I and I remember, I remember that. me and Crunchy had, we was in my rock. Me and Crunchy got in trouble in school. So we needed our parents to come up to school. My sport came up to the school for Crunchy acting like he was her uncle. The leader came up acting like she was my aunt. John think hotel. Danielle let next door to me, and I, you know, I got in trouble or whatever, because he told Danielle, and Danielle told my mother or whatever. Punishment. Oh, so many stories. <laughs> <laughs> he had his to go in for a rock and be like, yo, it's the big, big payback, baby. <laughs> <laughs> First up. Last thing I remember, we was playing ball on the court, man. You know what I mean? All those old funny games, you know? Just chilling, regular shit, man. Real nigga, man. Yeah. Was a good story. Give me one story that y'all remember your uncle taught y'all something. Really, he had to teach y'all some about yeah. lesson, a little punch in the chest. Yeah. So, you know how I you know. I, I know. I know how he was. He was a loving man. Yeah. He was a real loving man. The realest nigga I know. What I remember about my man Sport, first I like to say rest in peace to Sport. What I remember about Sport, one of my fond memories is we was at a party in uh, the building that 1474, 1472, one of them buildings. 74 is my building. We had a party, Sport came to me and said, yo, I, I, somebody want to holler at you. I ain't gonna mention no names, I don't want nobody coming back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, all right, we holler, ha <laughs> ha. Next thing you know, he tell me, yo, we want to go downstairs, take the party downstairs. I said, whatever. Me and Sport go downstairs, long story short, we beat. <laughs> I remember everything about Sport, that's my boy. I remember when we had beef with Edgemere, and all of us was, uh, was the KLP posse back then, and he was charged, he charged, he charged all these kids from Edgemere. A posse was, and Sport was the first one to run into a whole crowd of Edgemere, and he swung on one person and dropped him, and the person he swung on was the person who was a professional boxer. I Ishmael from Edgemere knocked him out. Man, that's a classic yeah. moment right there. <laughs> in Jersey. And ain't nobody telling me. He's famous for that laugh. You know what I'm saying? He loves the box. You know what I'm saying? I always remember him. Love to laugh. Love to have fun. Right. You know what I'm saying? Love to have fun. Ain't going up. Oh boy. Damn. I ain't got to come in all my money. My boy, sport. Rest in peace, baby. Sport always been a good man. This is my brother forever. Just sport being sport, man. Yeah. Every time you see me, you be like, Rocky! Yeah. <laughs> Rocky! Yeah. You know, it's just, just the characteristics of sport, yes, man. Yes, yes. Always be missed, man. One. I remember back in the days, that nigga used to fight Sport was a really good dude. No matter what he did or what he was doing in the streets, he had love for everybody and he held everybody down. And that's some real shit. Real shit. He wouldn't start no shit, but if you fuck with him, you gonna fucking gonna shit. know it's gonna be some shit. That's my brother. Love you, sport. You know what I mean? It's all love. <laughs> you know how we do. We was gonna bitch you that part as B. But we, the yeah, last we time that, we was out was in Brooklyn. We was out in Brooklyn with your man Big Pun. Yeah, you know you love them niggas. Yeah, yeah, we was out there holding it down. Yeah, yeah. she was a little footage, you know, we shot the love. Yeah. Right there, East New York. We is in East New York. What's that, Pine Avenue? Holding it down, nigga. That was Like we owned this spot, nigga. No doubt. Walking the street, shooting that footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, this my block. Me and Big Pun. Holding it down, you know what I'm saying? And the next day I come over, I did a documentary. You bow, bow. I was like, oh. Yeah, you know, that was the last time. Back, like, oh, what? The girl was like, oh, you know, bro. I was like, oh, no. Yeah. Spend the night with your crazy ass though that night, man. Sign. You know crazy. that, dude. I ain't gonna mention some other stuff that we did to back and park. <laughs> yo, cause Cody will get back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, SB one time, yo. I'm gonna mention some peace. Yo, where are these going? Me and SB one time. We walking back, we make money, man. You know, we ain't supposed like the crazy lights be bad for dudes. So one day, you know, go home, we got this thing inchy on us. So we walking, right? Eight mad girls walking to the back, like ten of them. Bro, they walking to the club, it's called Chapter Two in the back. We walking to the bar room, the bottles of that's back. Yo, what up, what up, baby? Yo, what up, 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 what's up, man? What's going on? So the time they got to the back bar, we said, like, sports like lambs, they They said, oh my god! Yo, sports, baby, you did some crazy stuff, boy. You always had energy, I had energy, I thought you were going
with us uh, as B, and you know what? Uh, you just want to send out love, man. But ain't no sad moments. Everything love, you know you love is to be turned up. You love this because you always be ah, What's good? What's good? What's good? Yo, why you turned down? What's wrong with you? What's your girl did something? You know what I mean? As love you, bro. Yo, check this, man. You what know, you remember? I remember a time, you know what I'm saying? When we was on the beach, mm -hmm. Beach 17th Street, we was younger, me and my brother, you know. Mm -hmm. We was close like that, mm -hmm. you know. And um, I could say we was in the water splashing around and shit, you know. Salt water burning your eyes and stuff at the time. And um, I jumped down and I dived into the water. Uh -huh. And when I dived into the water, you know what I'm saying, I came to and uh -huh. tried to come to the surface. Uh -huh. But when I came to the surface, I Watch realized that I didn't have my foot in. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I didn't have my foot in uh -huh. because I looked down. And when I looked down, all I seen was black. Uh -huh. And you know what that black means. Exactly. That black means that you can go over, you can go under at any time uh -huh. and never return. So on the side of me, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying, in the water, splashing too, was my brother Sport. And Sport said to me, yo, what you doing? I said, yo, I couldn't say nothing to him because the water was in my nose and in my mouth. I kept going down and I kept coming up. But the second time that I came up, I said I have to tell my brother that he have to save me because I didn't have no footing and the tide was gonna take me under. So when I came up for the second time, I called out his name, I said, Sport. And he was like, yeah, what's up, no? I said, Joe, pull your hand out, give me your hand because, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna drown. First he thought I was playing, but then he seen the seriousness of my face. And once he reached his hand out, here I am today. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my brother's sport. I would have been under the water, and y'all probably would have been talking about me to this day. But may God bless my brother. He saved me, and I'm going to be here for his kids and make sure that they okay. And God bless everybody over here today that came out and showed love, because I love them. You know what I'm saying? I want to continue to love, and everything is peace. May he rest in peace. Uh, yes. All right. Yeah. Say something else to the family. Hold on. Say something else to the family. Y'all say something small sport? Come on, tell a story, y'all. Say a story, Todd. Say a story. You don't care, Put it to a sport. I to do with your Oh, oh come, on, come on. No, what you Look at that. Look at that. You got a story? You got a story? Yeah, tell a story for me, Todd. Tell a story. What a story you remember sport? Come on, we was young. Yeah, come on, tell me one, Todd. When we was young. When we was young. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, my mom, sister him. Cody, uh -huh. she used to be a cleaning for Addy. Uh -huh. So she would make everybody, we'd be out, either you're going to go outside or you're going to sit in the room. Yeah. So oh, me and Sport and you, we'd be like, we going outside then. <laughs> we used to have to pee and stuff. You can't come in here because these floors is wet. And we'd be like, well, Cody, we home. Sport said, don't worry, you yeah. and you come with me. Went up to Mar Avenue to the Chinese store. Oh. The chicken, the chicken, the chicken remember? Yeah, yeah, the chicken, that was our thing. He snatched the chicken. Chicken and red. I remember that. Y'all did this. Y'all, y'all. With the whole chicken, remember they just opened up there, remember? Y'all, we used to be on the house. I said, oh, so this was the secret, huh? Oh, wow. And we climbing trees with him and his friends. We all got the stuff. Oh, guess what? I'm going with y'all. Climbing trees and all of that. I'm a family. You got to stop all in this shit with Tati. <laughs> you too old for that shit. Yeah, made up with it. What's wrong with you? No, <laughs> Taish, I'm telling you. Yeah, exactly. I'm a whoop PCS. I'm sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just now, they was just arguing. I said, what is going on? Deja vu, right? Yeah. I'm still doing the same shit. I think my mom's okay. Come on. Oh, straighten up, yo. It's time to get wise, baby. It's time to mature. Look, you trying to get light. Look. Uh -huh. Ain't none of that. Ain't none of that. Hold on. She want to say something. Jasmine want to say. Well, at three, we're going to say. I want everybody to show love to Uncle Sport. Yeah. When they come to three, everybody going to say R.I.P. Uncle Sport. Ready? One, two, three. R.I.P. Uncle Sport. We love you. We love you, Uncle Sport.
And this is for you, you know what I'm saying? The Smith family, the whole family, you always gonna be there. And the whole Redfern family, the family beyond, you know what I'm saying, bro? We miss you, man, we love you, but you always gonna be here with us, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, and another thing. What is it? He was so crazy when we was younger. My mother used to go and get the flying saucers, like the car bells. All right. And we'd be eating the ice cream, and they'd look around, Bob said, sports, you ain't get your ice cream? He'd be like, no, mommy, I ain't get the ice cream. So one time he slipped up and the ice cream was down his mouth. Bob said, sports, you didn't add your ice cream. <laughs> Let me put it out here. Everybody's uh, 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 front, everybody uh, uh, front right down, uh, but they all used to eat them chillings and had them chillings bites. Exactly. <laughs> so you know, the chillings bites came over. You know, they, right they eating chillings on the undercover. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> <Chillin' laughs> this one right here going to take the cake. Uh, uh, ain't nobody, ain't nobody <laughs> show the, the, the <laughs> true hustle yeah, like my so cousin Sports. Exactly. I remember yeah. being in the projects uh -huh. and, and, and running around doing little bad stuff. My, my cousin said, listen, uh -huh. you, you, you like racking stuff up and, and, and doing all kind of wild stuff. Uh -huh. He took me to the supermarket. Uh -huh. so he, he like, I'm like, what are we in the supermarket for? He like, look, go stand right there. See them bags right there? I'm like, yeah. He like, start putting stuff in them. I'm like, this is people stuff. I'm not just these people stuff. So I'm like, all right, so what? Let me go ahead and let me, let me just do the damn thing. So I started making a lot of money. I love making money. That was always my thing. My cousin seen it in me. He seen my potential. I ain't seen. So I started packing the bags. I'm like, yeah, I got my little thing there. I'm like nine years old. I'm getting my little thing. Put my little coins in. People are like, thank you, son. Thank you, thank you. So I'm like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Peak with the economics yeah. coming that way. Well, I learned economics. Exactly. I didn't even know it. So I'm like this. All right, you know, I got my little bag, so I pack it up. I'm happy. I'm like, ooh. So I'm going back in the pocket. I know. I'm like, oh man, I gotta get past mommy. I gotta get past everybody. All, all, the, all the older people. I gotta get past them with this big bag of coins. So before I could even get out the supermarket, cause it's sport like that. Yeah, come here. He's like, what happened? Because he's like, yeah, you gotta give me 2% of that. I said, what? Y'all like, what? 2%? I know my percentage is what I think about. Don't leave out if I have your pants, I'll show you his clap. You will clap his butt all over his shirt. I'll be like, so what? Pull up your pants. And Dinky got that habit, and Jasmine and all the They just be walking freely. Pull your pants up. Bob used to make the cake. He'd be like, all right, y'all. We are all gathered here today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, I don't mean we, I mean us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Remember to come and see me at the boxing gym. Oh, that's what you're doing now? You should do it. Oh, you stop? Yeah. You want to say something to him, though? Love you, Bob. I know you're looking down at me. I can truly appreciate my brother's sports gift for the scriptures. Um, we can really go in it for hours. There was no um, um, fighting or debating about the scriptures. It was actually reasoning and understanding one another, knowing what God wanted from us, but knowing that we were imperfect humans and we couldn't deliver it. So we knew that we had a constant struggle before us, but because he knew that, he always relied on God. So, I just want to say that um, there will come a time where we will see him again, and may he rest in peace until then. Thank and that's you. why you all yep. need to get right with Jehovah, because if you don't, you will never, ever, ever see your loved ones again. And with that being said, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Love you. Thank you. We love you, sport. Rest in peace. Love you, sport, y'all. Yes, we love you. Always and forever. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yo, rest in peace, yo, SP. Rest in peace. Yo, niggas yo, love yo, you, man. Yo, the last, still love, man. You still alive. You gonna remain in our hearts, bro.